Are you looking for your first pair of hiking shoes? Are the soles of your old pair worn out? Here's our advice to help you choose the right pair for you. Oh, hi. So what kind of hiking am I going to do today? Well, that's the first question I'm going to ask myself when I'm going to choose my hiking shoes for the day. You want to know what kind of terrain you're going to be hiking on, how heavy is your backpack going to be, and how long and how far you're going to be going. But we'll just start with the terrain. First, there are the easy trails. These can be found at valley bottoms, in prairies, or other large open spaces. The track surfaces are stable and even, with a few slight hills. Second, there are what we call uneven and off trails. This technical terrain can be found in the mountains or undulating landscapes. These trails are often unstable with loose rocks and they're not necessarily well marked. Another thing that will greatly influence the choice of your hiking boots will be the weight of your backpack. Of course, the shoes that you're going to pick are going to depend greatly on how long your hike is and how remote you're going. That's because if you only have to carry a light backpack, there's going to be less chances of injury. So you can go for a lighter, more flexible shoe. However, if you're going camping and you have to bring the whole Shazam in your bag, your bag's going to be heavier. So you might want to go for a heavier, sturdier shoe that's going to give you the support that you will need for such a hike. Simply ask yourself if your goal seems short or long so that you either go for shoes that are light with more flexibility or for a pair that offers stability and support. Last but not least, you'll need to evaluate your fitness in an objective way. For example, you've only been hiking for a few months, so you don't have that much experience yet, but you're super keen and you like to go more and more often. The trails you try to go to are getting more technical and more ambitious. Plus, you've never injured your ankles before and you're in pretty good overall physical shape because you like to practice other endurance sports. If that's your case, then you should go for a light, low-cut shoe that's going to give you a lot of freedom of movement. Another example is that if you're an experienced hiker and you like to go on more technical terrain, uneven grounds, or you've had an ankle injury before, well, you might need a little bit more support. So you should definitely go for a high-cut hiking boot. Uh, these are going to be sturdier, a little heavier, but they're going to give your ankle the support that they need to go on the hikes that you want to go to. No matter if you buy your shoes from an outdoor specialty store or that you get them from the internet, we really recommend trying them on first. Bring a good pair of hiking socks when you go try them and go at the end of the day if you can, because your feet will tend to be a little more swollen than in the morning. When you have your shoe undone, you should be able to put one finger behind your heel when your toes are touching the front. That's how you know that you have the right size hiking shoe. If you fall between two sizes, you're gonna wanna go for the higher size, just because again, your feet will tend to swell a little bit once you go on a hike. Then, well, color is up to you. 